I knew there was something going on. I got the answer in the worst way, a cold telephone call. I knew immediately. And I was shocked pretty much, as you can imagine. It was not a good prognosis, ovarian cancer. Colon rectal cancer. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Breast cancer. Prostate cancer. So I was very healthy except for having terminal cancer. Everybody is fearful. They think, oh Lord, I'm dying tomorrow. But I soon found out that if you live your life in fear, you're not living. I figured cancer wasn't gonna slow me down. I was gonna power through it just like I did everything else in my life. But cancer just slammed me up against a wall. And I came here because my daughter and I were struggling. When I first had cancer, my daughter had just turned two, and it was like unbelievable thinking that, you know, you might not, not be there to help raise your daughter. I didn't know how to be a person with cancer, and I felt like I needed to know what to do with myself or how to be myself. My first foray was to join a support group. I knew nothing about cancer when I came here. I was so full of questions. I could hear this group of, of people talking and kind of laughing, and it sounded like maybe it was going to be okay. I thought, wow, it's, it's a place that looks like home. So the first couple times I wasn't too sure about it, I wasn't too comfortable, and I didn't say very much. But by the, my fourth time, I was opening up more, and I was also getting to know the people there better and learning to care about them, and I was hooked. It was the easiest and most safe place that I've ever been to. From the first support group meeting, I knew, <laughs> I knew I'd found my tribe. We talk about our experiences, we share good things and bad things, we joke around about our situation. A lot of people will say they have a hard time talking to people that don't have cancer about it because other people just don't understand what you're going through. Even if it's a dark humor sometimes, we can laugh about it together and it helps you keep perspective, I think, on your life. When you have cancer, it's always there. And people don't understand that. We could cry about it. We could laugh about it. I've never laughed so hard about the horrors of cancer treatment than being in a room full of other people who laughed with me because they got that. They understood that they're not doing this by themselves. They're not alone. I take advantage of the exercise program, the yoga programs. Um, I also take part in the art class. I found a hidden artist in me. The classes aren't just about making art, they're about making friends and making lasting commitments to people. And the cancer support community, a lot of the activities provide information or activities specific to people that have cancer, like, you know, the cooking classes. They show us how to cook with the stuff we have in the kitchen in a way that's healthy for us. To hang out back there and just be able to cut up and let loose and not worry about the fact that you're in treatment. They make being here a time when you can forget that cancer has invaded your life. It's hard to realize that it's all free of charge. I couldn't have afforded all of these services after not being able to work. So having the ability to come here and enjoy everything without any financial burden has been uh, a real blessing in my life. There's children's programming or family programming here. The cancer support community helped me face the challenges with my daughter by starting um, a teen group. I think with children, there's always the risk that they just bottle it all up inside and don't feel like it is a safe topic to talk about, but they can come here and it's a safe place to talk about their feelings. The more I participate in these programs, the more I retain and get back a sense of participating fully in life. 
can't imagine having survived cancer without the center because it has given me a place to go to discuss my cancer and feel normal about it while also giving me a place to go where I don't have to think about my cancer. For me, the cancer support community is my shelter from the storm. It's a place to be comfortable in dealing with your grief, but I think it's a great place to reinforce your hope. It's invaluable to have those kind of experiences. When you're in the middle of it, you can't have enough people around you who care about you.